Hi everyone, it's Guan Chan. I'm gonna show to you guys how I take digital handwritten notes using a phone and a pen tablet. This kind of setup is cute. I mean convenient and portable. All you need to have is a pen tablet and your Android phone. I'm using the XP Pen Deco Fan XS or Extra Small. Living by its name, it's really small and cute. The active working area is 3 inches by 4.8 inches. Comparing it with my phone, which is Samsung Galaxy J5 Prime, they are relatively proportional. A little side comment, they looking like best friends. I just find them cute together and I also put some stickers on them. A side-by-side -side comparison with a normal notebook, the A5 size, they are smaller. Once the pen tablet is connected, the phone will detect it as an input device. There's also a cursor thing that will appear just like when you're using a mouse. In this phone, the cursor is like a small circle, making it unnoticeable on some of my previous videos. But in real life, it's really visible. This serves as a guide for you to know where you're gonna write or draw. The pen pressure sensitivity works well. It's like I'm using an S Pen, but not directly writing on the screen surface. Like you can practice calligraphy like that. So I'm using Samsung Notes because it's one of the default applications on my phone and it's pretty easy to use as well. So here I'm just choosing the pen and the ink color that I want or like experimenting around what looks okay. The button of the pen also works. Like when you hold it, it switches to eraser. It's like a shortcut key that is very convenient. The pen pressure sensitivity is working well in Samsung Notes. This is helpful if you want to do some digital calligraphy for the headings or details. It's like when you're using a pencil that when you apply more force, the thicker the strokes are and with less force, the thinner the strokes will be. So let's go to the page settings and I'm just choosing a color for the paper or like the canvas. There are a variety of colors that you can choose from and I'm gonna go with pastel pink. To add some guidelines, let's go to the page template and you can choose from the different types here that are available and free. So I'm just gonna go with the grid lines. This will make the note taking process easier. So at the bottom, you can find the toolbar and when you swipe to the right, you can find this feature that allows you to write on a bigger space below. It's like a magnifying glass and that kind of concept. I don't know what's the name of this tool. But honestly, this is very, very helpful, especially when you're writing a lot of words because it's challenging to write a very small scaled letters. But you can directly write on the top, like the actual space up there, it's very doable and possible. This kind of setup may not work on everyone else because it only offers a limited space like your phone has small screen and then you have a small working area with your pen tablet. But this alternative setup is a good choice if you're a student who wants to try digital art with a limited budget because all you need to have is your phone and then if you have already a pen tablet then you can already use it with your phone so you don't have to buy another one or let's say that you are saving for an ipad and pen or a samsung tablet with pen and while waiting you want to start having your notes digitally because you want to go paperless then this setup is a good choice also. This is pretty convenient if your phone is your main gadget and everything, like saving lecture notes and annotating files. But above everything else, make sure that you are having fun along with the process. And by the time that you are comfortable using this kind of setup, or if you discover or realize that digital note taking is really effective for you, then it will help your productivity increase in the long run. This is actually similar when you are using your laptop, like when you connect your pen tablet to your laptop. It's just when you are using a phone, it's a bit um, smaller. It has a smaller screen and it's not as powerful when you are using your laptop. But the idea and the concept is there, like you have your screen, you can actually see whatever you are writing or whatever you are sketching on your phone using your pen tablet. The idea of this is to use whatever resources you have right now and maximizing your productivity without sacrificing a lot portion of your money or savings. So whatever works well for you, then go for it. So I'm finished with the first page and it didn't really take a lot of time to finish this and also I had fun. So if you have some questions about digital note taking or pen tablets, you can comment down below. 
Thank you so much for being here and for watching this video. Until next time, take care. Bye!